What's good with y'all boys, man? It's your boy, Rota Boy. We back with another short film today, man. This one is called Nothing Except Everything. Um, been getting a little notarized. You can see it does have 6.3 million views. It was posted eight months ago, but that don't matter. We finna get into it. We finna see what it's about. Y'all new to the channel? I shouldn't even have to tell y'all what to do. Just like this video if you're into short films and get straight into it, man. 12 minute film. Let's see what they're talking about. I I am nothing, but I must be everything. Yeah, no, I do. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quick, think of number one to ten. Yes, Seven. you. All of you in the audience right now. Or maybe it's just one of you. Or four of you, or a hundred of you, depending on how successful this movie is. Whatever. Just think of number one to ten. Seven. Got it? Is it seven? Yo! Chances are I'm wrong, but for about one out of every- Yo! No way! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. How did you know that? With three of you, I just blew your goddamn mind. But one out of three? Not one out of ten? How is that possible? Yeah. Bro, how did you just do that? I literally just thought seven. <laughs> seven? Seven? <laughs> What the hell? I, you know, that'd be creeping me out, though. Wouldn't it be those videos where they'd be like, say a word, and then they have you do a color or something like that, then they have you guess an animal, and then they guess it right? Like, that stuff be trippy, bro. So the fact that you just got that, maybe because seven was in the middle, or maybe because seven is just a lucky number, so it's automatically a number you might pick. I don't know. That was crazy, though, bro. Here's my theory. First of all, no one will pick one or ten, right? Like, that's just stupid, picking from the ends. And you didn't okay. even specify one and ten are included, right? So people wouldn't want to mess with the rules or anything. Like, it would be embarrassing to fuck up choosing a number one through ten. Why do you think people choose a number seven? Well, I'm an Aquarius, so three gives off bad vibes for me. Yeah, five, bro. Like, that's just mid a yeah. No cap. Well, you see, Pythagoras actually calculated even integers are more predictable. Two and four feel a bit uh, harmless, if you will. You know, back in my day. Three, nine, five, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, 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 How is that possible, though? Enter prompt here. Okay, can't be that hard. And so there it was. Science has found that 33% of people will choose seven. And yet no one could really explain why. Is crazy. Out of a seemingly random set of arbitrarily assigned values, out of complete and utter meaninglessness and nothingness came. The proof that this theory might be right, I'm about to test it right now. Memory! I'm about to ask my girl to do it, y'all, and see what she said. Memory! Let's see what she say, y'all. Uh. Come here real quick. I'm trying to test something else real quick. Put these on. Just watch the beginning of this video real quick. Quick, think of number one to ten. Yes, you. All of you in the audience right now. Or maybe it's just one of you. Or four of you, or a hundred of you, depending on how successful this movie is. Whatever. Just think of number one to ten. Yeah, say it all up. Three. Got it? Is it seven? I said seven. And it's a theory that 33% of all humans will say the number seven. So would that mean I'm slow? No, I just thought that was kind of, I thought you was going to say seven too, but I said seven. You probably just said three to three is your favorite number, but yeah. I looked at that and literally just said seven. And that's what it was. You just want to like go genius or something? No, I just thought that was crazy. You know, we ever seen videos like that? Where people be like, uh, spell out the color blue and then they'd be like 
say something else, and then they'd be like, think of an animal. Was it an elephant? You never seen videos like that before? Oh, well, I was just trying to see if you were going to say seven. I said seven. That was kind of crazy. I thought because maybe it's a lucky number, Chances but then he's wrong, they said about one out of every three of you, I just played crazy. a goddamn mind. One out of every three, so. One out of three? One out of three. Not one out of ten? Which is crazy. How is that possible? I think that's kind of crazy. Yeah, I see that. First of all, no one will pick one or ten, right? Like, that's just stupid, picking from the ends. And you didn't even specify one and ten are included, right? So people wouldn't want to mess with the rules or anything. Like, it would be embarrassing to fuck up choosing a number one through ten. Why do you think people choose a number seven? Well, I'm an Aquarius, so three gives off bad vibes for me. Yeah, five, bro. Like, that's just mid-AF. Yeah, we just... No cap. Well, you see, Pythagoras actually calculated even integers are more predictable. Two and four feel a bit uh, harmless, if you will. You know, back in my day. Three, nine, five. Let's pick a size. Three, five, eight, three, six, one, four, five, nine. Four, four, four. And so there it was. I'm very curious to see what Science they found. Science has found that 33% of people will choose seven, and yet no one could quite explain why. Out of a seemingly random set of arbitrarily assigned values, out of complete and utter meaninglessness and nothingness came. <laughs> Everything. I mean, think about it. We live in a world with so much uncertainty, with like climate change, civil unrest. The and, only and thing uncertain right now is what college you're going to. Miles, it's really not that complicated. Go to a good college, get a job, and die. And what's with all that one through ten shit you say every day? Yeah, what's with that anyway? Yeah, what's with that anyway? What? How about go to college, get a job, and die is the most insane thing you could ever say. <laughs> uh, my mom or my dad ever said, just get a job. No. Go to college, get a job, and die. Yo, what 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 are we doing, bro? <laughs> what are we doing? What's your extracurriculars? Miles, focus. Miles, focus. Miles, focus. Miles, focus. Miles, focus. Miles, focus. Miles, in all chaos, there is in all in all chaos there is a cosmos, in all disorder, a secret order. Uh huh. Okay. Where do you want to go next? I don't know. I don't know anything. Try to remember. Memories with you. This is a very interesting short film so far. <laughs> they still got me lost on that sim theory. So we just left the seventh theory. We just left off of the seventh theory. What's going on? Y'all doing? You gonna break the window? Mm. Mm. No. Yeah. No. I. No. I just. Right. If we maybe if we could, could yeah, we... absolutely. What? Talk. What do you? Yeah. Okay. Well, I should probably I should probably get going. I just have some yeah, work same. that I got to do. Same. Cool. You, uh, cool. Um, but it was really nice conversing with you, Harper. Yeah, okay. Precisely. On, have a great night, Miles. You too. Wait, do you want to kiss? No, 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 no,
Yeah. Yeah, um, but obviously. What's going on right now, yo? So should we drive around some Yeah, let's think, do that. Yeah, let's. Now, at AMD, we're all Don't about just go pushing straight the envelope to no, no, in high no performance. Ad like that, yo. It's too important right now. But if we all eventually die, what is the fucking point? Hey, yo, what, what's going on right now? Seven. It's also the first time I encountered the pinnacle of existence. Huh? Death. Oh. Why do you think that raccoon killed himself? Huh? He didn't. Animals don't do that. But what if... He probably got a point there. Because why did the raccoon go out there into the traffic knowing that cars would be coming? Maybe the raccoon did feelings, kill himself. Just like us. Maybe his wife died and he went through months of existential grief and rehab. What's going on, Where's yo? Where's all this coming from? Mom, did Uncle Fred kill himself? You'll never have control over what you learn. You'll never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. A number one through ten. Um, and now you all are probably expecting a happy moral to the story or some kind of but wait, there's more ending, but there is none. There's no meaning to any of this, there's no meaning to any of your shitty follow your dreams valedictorian speeches or virtue signaling. We live in a society, Pinterest quotes, and definitely there's no... And definitely there's no meaning to my pretentious, nihilistic, and edgy attempt at self-awareness for the sake of self-awareness! Okay. There is, in the end, the letting go. Will you remember me? Of course. I don't think I will. Huh? Yeah, honestly, I don't think I will either. No, like, I'll remember you, but in like 50 years. But like, we probably won't give a fuck about each other, right. let's be honest. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, maybe, though. Yeah. I'd like to think so. I'll be like, remember that Miles kid? I really liked him. He was really cute. He had nice eyes. I guess. It's a weird feeling. It's a kind of fleeting feeling we'll only really experience once. Like... We're not going to realize how good we had it until we're old and inevitably lose contact with each other. And then... And then remembering all of this will be painful. Do you think, then, that it would be better to remember or forget? Y'all, you're fucking my brain up right now, yo. I, like... She fell asleep on you in the middle of the conversation? Now that's crazy. But y'all are messing me up right now. Because first of all, you got me thinking like, damn, maybe what? What if the raccoon was going through something? And that's the reason why he jumped in front of a car. And maybe that's the reason why a lot of animals be killing themselves when it comes to stuff like that. Because they probably going through stuff just like humans go through things. But why did I pick the number seven? I'm still stuck on that. Why did I pick seven when, I, when they guessed it one through ten? And I know it's a... Feel you out there that answered that as well. 
And y'all probably all said seven. This is just crazy, yo. Like, this is wow. Yeah, me too. My brain, yo, is just. This movie <laughs> just fucked me up. Tonight yo. with New Mexico, where thousands it's of strange. firefighters are battling a colossal wildfire. The worst day in more than four years. There's so many random things happening in the world at once that don't Max. feel like they make sense. It's breaking news. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you. What do you think the meaning of life is? Just to have fun and don't care what anyone else thinks of you at all. Just live in with the journey, the experience, and find some happiness there. Honestly, just do whatever the hell you want, because, I mean, in the end, none of this is going to matter. And these people that you think care right now, they really don't. Um, I guess to focus on yourself and do what you want to do and not waste time. To help people to do more good than that. So, how do you feel about the future right now? I feel like the world's kind of uncertain at the moment. Personally, kind of scared. Not great. I'm just kind of nervous about it. It takes a lot of work to be optimistic. I don't know where I'm going to go to college. I don't know what I want to do with my life. And so, I don't know where I'm going to go. It's just such an unexpected thing. You can never know what's going to happen next. I don't think anyone really knows what's going on. Uh, as a family man, I uh, so the meaning is the happiness for all my family members. The future, the past, the present, it's all a gift. I don't know. <laughs> the future's really scary. I don't, I don't really feel confident. Would I be here? I'd say it's sad, only because there's a lot of things that I benefit from in this world that a lot of people don't benefit from. And it's a surprise. I can't make sure the future is right. I'm protected. The world's biggest bird is the ostrich. try to find our seven to hold on to. Well, what do the seven mean? Go find someone and abuse them with your love. You know, the people that you spend it with. Just live life and not just exist. Just really vague and you never know what's gonna happen. Because existing is just waking up, go to work. We live and, and we die. Like That's all that happens. You're gonna do great things, man. Seriously. I believe in you. Embrace it. Embrace it. You live in terror of not being misunderstood. I'm always here. Always. And all of a sudden, in a moment of complete, absurd randomness. I'm still lost on why he threw the one through seven. I mean, one through ten out there, and knowing that thirty-three percent of people in the world will say seven. But this, this, this short film kind of touched my heart a little bit. Got me thinking about things, man. Like the fact that he had me thinking, like about a raccoon's feelings, and that maybe the raccoon did go through something like that. Right there alone, just. Fuck my brain up, yo. Wow. That's gonna do it for this video, yo, man. So it's a crazy short film. It was definitely a crazy short film. And I need a lot of y'all down there, man. Comment down below if you actually picked the number seven. Don't lie. Be truthful. Because I would like to know how many of us really just picked that number seven. Without thinking about it, without hesitation. So catch y'all boys on the next one, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the short film. It, it was kind of crazy. Even the quotes kind of got, like, kind of fucked me up a little bit. Damn. Catch y'all boys on the next one, man.